Okay, so bottom line on visiting Luxor. In our opinion, you need two or three days to experience it. Don't short yourself and spend less time. It's much calmer, cleaner, and overall cheaper than Cairo, and it's our favorite city in Egypt. I mean, you can have a really nice sit-down dinner for like four US dollars. So if you have to choose between Luxor and another city, go to Luxor. So Luxor is our favorite city in Egypt because everything is very accessible and close together and there's just a lot of different things to see. Like for instance, Karnak Temple, which is where we are right now in Luxor. It's this massive area that over 30 different pharaohs contributed to over the years. They started building it in the Middle Kingdom all the way through the New Kingdom. And since every single pharaoh is like, well, I want to make my mark on this temple, uh, it's pretty impressive. It's the second most visited place in Egypt next to the Pyramids of Giza. It costs you like 750 to get in. You can get a tour guide for like five bucks. Yeah, you should do it. Let's take a look. Also, there's the Valley of the Kings. Um, it's really cool. I can't show you much footage. I'll show you a little bit because I stuck my phone out, but you have to pay like an extra 15 bucks to take a camera in there, which I want to do. I've already seen it as the hieroglyphics. We should definitely come here. It's really cool. There's different ways to get here. I didn't pay for the $15 cab ride. Instead, we rented a bike for two bucks each and we rode, which is so obviously I'm not going to pay to take the camera in. Would love to, but you guys have to come for yourself, but it's cool. They tried to charge us like $10 for a taxi in Luxor. We're like, no, I'm going to rent this here bicycle. I'm going to ride to the Valley of the Kings all by myself. I forgot to tell you what Valley of the Kings was about. There's like 30 pharaohs buried there within the mountainsides. They stopped doing pyramids. They just would make tombs in the mountains because it's easier. They're all very cool, but nothing as is impressive for this pharaoh, this temple. And it's appropriate that we're here on International Women's Day because this is the original gangster, the OG of powerful women, Queen Hat Cheap Soup. Uh, a lot of people call it uh, Hat Cheap Suit or Hat Cheap Soup. It's hard to pronounce, but she was a pharaoh of Egypt, like way before Cleopatra, so super powerful. And there's really nothing compared, nothing dedicated to another pharaoh that's comparable to this other than the pyramids of Giza. So it's exciting. Let's go look inside. And last but not least, Luxor Temple. You can't come to Luxor, Egypt and not go to Luxor Temple. Unlike most other temples in Egypt, this one is not about Egyptian gods. It's not about a certain pharaoh, although Ramses II, the great, he did like put his name all over it when he finished it, even though he wasn't the only person that built it. But yeah, it's just about the rejuvenation of kingship itself. A lot of pharaohs might've been crowned here. They say that maybe Alexander the Great was crowned pharaoh here. It's really cool. It's not as big as Karnak and it's laid out much more simple, less chaotic uh, vibe and layout to it. It's it pretty busy, but I recommend coming here at golden hour. So yeah, it's pretty. Let's go inside. So thanks for watching our video guys and thanks for watching our channel. This wraps up season one of Bottom Line Up Front. 
If you're new to our channel and you're like, what am I talking about? Go back and look at our playlist. We've been traveling through Africa for three months now and we really enjoyed filming everything. We loved all the adventures and we hope that you enjoyed watching it and maybe gained some value from all the things we were telling you, whether it was climbing a mountain or being chased by gorillas. Uh, yeah, season two starts now. We're in Asia. Here we go.